Launch week for the EPOS Impact 1000 headset. I'm going to compare it with their competitors like the Jabra Evolve 75, also the Poly Voyager Focus 2. Here I'm currently using the Audio Technica HD HM50 X SDS stream set as a reference, and I'm going to find out together with you what's inside this box here, and also if this is now the new industry reading pickup for voice which is going to reduce uh, background noise for me as a listener, as a talker, and also on the other side of the call. In my example, I'm using Microsoft Teams for my video conferences. So stay tuned. To answer an incoming call, you can tap the hook button on the boom arm once. If the headset is on your head with the boom arm raised, you can also simply lower the boom arm to accept the call. If your headset is on your desk or on the charging stand, you can answer the call by just putting the headset on your head, thanks to the proximity sensor. To reject an incoming call, hold the hook button on the boom arm for two seconds. While in a call, double tap the button to put the call on hold. Let's look into the features and see what are the highlights of this headset compared to others on the market. Here I would like to highlight that it can connect using Bluetooth 5.3 and not only 5.2, 5.1, 5.0, like others, it's the latest technology. You can also connect it with the USB-A dongle and also using USB-C. The speaking time using the battery is between 19 and 20 hours. That should be enough for your meetings. If you have longer meetings in one day, you should take care about your work-life balance. Microphone-wise, you've got four digital MEMS embedded the ANC is hybrid, it's adaptive, so it's going to change according to your background noise. Then it's also very crucial that this is a team certified headset, so it's ready for enterprise. It's going to protect you against acoustic shocks. The connectivity to endpoints like smartphone, PC, Mac, tablet is going to be triple connectivity and not only double like most other headsets have on the market. You can get the headset in Monoral or binaural, so for one or two ears. No, just joking. It's also very comfortable to have monoral where one ear is just free. Now I'm talking directly into the Poly Voyager Focus 2, which is directly competing with the EPOS Impact 1000, Bluetooth, wireless, boom arm, designed for hybrid work, active noise cancelling. Another direct competitor of the EPOS Impact 1000 is the Jabra Evolve 275. Also designed for hybrid work, active noise cancelling ANC, Bluetooth, wireless, boom arm. That's the Jabra Revolve 275. And now talking directly into the EPOS Impact 1061 for Microsoft Teams. That's how it sounds like. Different levels here while I'm moving a bit up and up. And let's see how it's going. Unmuting myself. That's the EPOS Impact 1000. It's very comfortable because it's an on-ear headset. That's something that I can also use here in summertime when it's warmer. It's not going to warm up my ears massively. And it's also going to mute when I take it off, by the way. This feature. When I'm here in a silent room in my home office, I'm going to switch off ANC because then there is a hear through mode, which is for me a bit more comfortable. By the way, I'm, let's say in a plane, train, loud background conditions, and I want to focus, then ANC is going to be on. Now I left my desk and back into the garden. And what I've just noticed is that it's quite windy. So I have to adjust the side tone because otherwise I would hear some wind. So maybe I'm back to active noise cancelling or I just reduce the side tone. That's a wonderful place here actually also to enjoy music or listen to podcasts or watch a video. I'm now trying to use the EPOS Connect app on my mobile, Xiaomi 11, and also my tablet, which is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra, and I cannot connect both devices. So both are pairing immediately using Bluetooth, that's for sure. But then the app is opening. Also, the device is found, but it's going to connect, connect, and currently it doesn't work. So I only have success 
with connecting using the app on the PC and on the Mac. And using the app, I can, of course, do the firmware update and then also go into the app and see if ANC is on. So that might be very helpful for you to directly set ANC in the EPOS Connect app. Then decide if you want to use iTunes, yes or no. If you want to limit the volume, choose the European one. I'm just having it off. And there's also a choice between dynamic and focus mode. Focus mode is not allowing other audio sources to hijack it. It's, it's going to stay on the same audio source. Okay, currently in my car, I'm driving to the train station and figuring out how the train background noise is going to disrupt my call and how it's going to cancel the background noise. Let's check it out. This should be very, very noisy. Time for a wonderful coffee. Let's turn on the grinder and do some noise. Very close to my microphone, the closest I can get. Please share with me in the comments if you could hear something from the grinding process of the coffee beans. Okay, hopefully this video is helpful for you in case you want to purchase a headset certified for Microsoft Teams, ready for hybrid work, which is going to reduce background noise for you to help you to focus, but also for the ones who are in your call that they don't hear what's inside or what's outside in your background. Brain fatigue should be reduced, meeting fatigue in general. So it's a recommendation from my side for everyone who wants to have more freedom with a wireless headset, latest Bluetooth technologies, and also can be charged using a beautiful stand. Thanks for watching and see you next time.